Hello. Right, I thought about starting superstars considering that's mainly what I collect, and I've got. Well, at the moment I've got forty, but I've got eight pairs winging away to me right now, as we speak, and I'll show sure you them in all good time. These are the uh, 35th anniversary, and um, 2005, Adidas decided to bring out what they called the 35th anniversary series, and that was, well, let's see if I can zoom in. This is a whole, there's 35 different designs, and basically it went from the top row, which are 500 only, all the way down, 4,000, and then all the way down to unlimited numbers. So there's 35 different ones, including a top secret one, which is basically just white in a box, and rare as rocking horse shit. So these are the 35th anniversaries. And you can probably tell I'm quite a fan of these, so as well as a massive poster, I've also got a postcard set that came out. Um, I think this is Foot Patrol. I think it was anyway. Right, but anyway, might as well just read off here then I'll show you the trainer. <coughs> Ignore that, that was a budgie. Right, so these are the 35th anniversary etched black edition, it's number 30. I will show you what that means inside in a minute. And let's just see what the card says. Anniversary series. The anniversary series celebrate the superstar's universal appeal. These shoes are all about detail. After 35 years of remakes, new additions, reinterpretations and embellishments, these anniversary models are there to show the timeless simplicity of the superstar. Okay, and the individual blurb on the number 30 etch black is using the original colour palette associated with the Superstar, black and white, this shoe offers the reverse combination. This model is made with the same high quality leather and laser etching processes and forms, along with the white version, the basis of the anniversary feeling of the series. Now unfortunately, I didn't get these in a box, so I'm very disappointed. However, they came with spare laces. Tightly packed. I think I've removed one, but no, I haven't actually removed any. So nice and tightly packed. So that's a good indication that you've got genuine, genuine ones. And then let's have a look at the shoe. Right. So it's basically black on white, and the etched bits to me look kind of brown, but I am slightly colour blind. Shocking white stripes, shocking white back with silver back and the trefoil. Black foxing, classic white sole. And on this one, the little Adidas is at the back. Black toe cap, always nice. I don't have as many black toe capped ones as I. I we should. Okay, excuse me, uh, abrupt jump cut. I had to go and throttle a budgie. And that's not euphemism. Right. So, details, details, details. You can see there the eyelets, 35th anniversary. Spelt correctly, always a good sign. And a pattern. If you're doing a comparison to see if you've got the real ones or not. I don't know if that's going to be exactly the same. I'm assuming it would be. Uh, tong. Tong to tong tong tong. There you go, Superstar. 35th anniversary in silver. Emblazoned over the brand with three stripes writing. That's how it should be. Insole. Doesn't really show up on camera with the light, but. Oh, there you go. That's a genuine insole. Pretty comfy, these actually. Right, and when I mentioned before about the number 30, 
this because all the 35th anniversary ones have a tag in the middle and the tongue. So 30 anniversary edge black and it's number 30 out of the 35. Okay, tongue label should look more or less like that. Size UK 13 and a half because I have a huge cock. July 2005 and let's see this one ends in 056 or 058 and this one ends in 320 bloody hell that's a leap oh well. they're not the same and that's the most important thing and they're not suede so the fact that the numbers are quite different it's not as bad uh, that one's Bit more worn, obviously. I think notes will be more worn. I'm going to assume that for the last 10 years, whoever's been wearing them has had a really heavy left foot. Who knows? But anyway, let's see. Classic herringbone um, sole. Oh, yeah. Lace tags. Lace jewellery, or whatever you call that's what these ones have got. So, actually, well, I, even though they weren't limited numbers, I always like these ones. And there you go. And at some point, I'm going to put those laces in because the only reason they haven't done so far is because the girlfriend's not a massive fan. But there you go 35th anniversary, etched black. Thank you.